Hey guys, another knife review. This is another Bussy. This is the new Battle Mistress that has come out. Uh, it's for sale right now on Bussy's uh, website. This is the current offering. Um, basically, it's a it's a, a leaner, a thinner version of the Fusion Battle Mistress. Uh, if you're familiar with Bussy knives, this is sort of a hybrid between the old straight handle Battle Mistress and I would say a Fusion Battle Mistress. Um, the straight handles are absurdly priced, so I'm very happy this came out. It gives me a chance to own a very um, a fast, long chopping blade. Uh, the, like the, the, the Fusion Battle Mistress, the one I have, the FFBM, the Fat uh, Fusion Battle Mistress. It's a tank. It weighs a lot. It's very thick. It's like 0 .3, 0 .32 inches thick. And this guy right here uh, is a very thin version. Three, it's three sixteenths inches thick. Um, you know, it's just way, way faster in the hand. It's way lighter. Um, I haven't used it yet, but you will see. Uh, you will definitely see many videos uh, chopping with this thing and just general camp tasks. I'll probably dispose of my Christmas tree, which is laying on the yard with it. I'll probably film that. It's kind of fun. Um, let me actually do a comparison right now between this and the Fusion Battle Mistress. Get this other one out of the way. Yeah, accidentally. Um, I got freaking two of them. Uh, don't even ask. I didn't want to get two, but it is what it is. Probably sell one later. Um, here's the Fusion Battle Mistress. So the first thing you see is the blade, uh, it's broader, this one is definitely a slimmer design, um, and obviously the thickness is outrageously different. Both amazing blades, uh, show you some of the details in the knives. First this one has the original style, well not the original style, but the logo they were using for a while now. Uh, this and they just redesigned it. Now you're gonna have this uh, just bussy on the blade. I, I do I like this new logo. It's just it's simplistic. It's not as uh, not as detailed as the other one, so it makes it for a cleaner look. <clears throat> um, this one is a full convex grind. Uh, you can tell that because you kind of see this just sort of fade away the plunge line. With this one, it distinctly ends right here, and then it's a saber grind. You can, I don't know if you can actually see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. The new patterning, uh, pattern on the handle, very good looking. It's just a um, bunch of straight lines, straight back. Both the same color combo. These are both uh, sage blades and black canvas micarta. The black canvas micarta kind of blends with whatever color you get. It sort of looks green when I get a sage blade. If you get the tanker, gray blades or a black blade, it, it just gives a kind of a grayish look to the handle. Um, but you know, I like it. I like the greens. I like green in general. So Now the fusion handles, uh, you love them or hate them. I love them. I think they're great. This, this butt area does rub your pinky a little. This one not so much I hear, so we'll see. It doesn't drop quite as much at the end. Um, but if you if you ever have seen the old straight handle models, they kind of look like that right there. If you if you just if you take this part right right there off, uh, that is essentially almost a straight handle, except it's, there's not as much swelling in the handle. They're awesome. Uh, but they're crazy expensive. I'm not about to drop a thousand bucks on uh, on one. But anyway, these retail for three fifty um, for the one you see right here. It's standard handle. You can pay more and get G10 or multicolor G10, whatever. And uh, there's a couple different blade coatings available. All right, Lou. And the uh, the Battle Mistress also has um, it has the penetrator tip on it. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, this one does not. 
I guess you just don't need it on something like this. It's much thinner. I I'm really excited about this. I hear they're great. Just great knives all around. Everybody was pretty excited when these came out. Alright, I'll pull this one out here. But overall, really, really happy with these things. Uh, I really can't wait to use them. I, I, I'm sick of, I'm sick of winter time already. Like it hasn't been a nice winter. It's not a lot of snow. It's a lot of just cold, icy rain and nastiness. Uh, I'm pretty excited for spring to roll around so I can get out and go camping or something. It'd be one thing if it was just snow a lot, but it's just nasty conditions all around. Um, not a lot to say. I'll put specs in the uh, in the sidebar. But uh, it's a 10-inch blade. It's a pretty large knife, but they have great weight. I mean, because it's so thin. For a bussy, this is probably like a normal thickness. I don't really know a lot about other fixed blade knives, um, at least this size. But that's a pretty thin model from Bussy. I, I think if anybody is interested uh, in these, you definitely should pick one up at factory prices right now. Um, you'll be pretty happy with it, I'm assuming. So. I, I prefer the thick blades, but we'll see. Uh, it's kind of unrealistic to have something so thick as the Fusion Battle Mistress because, you know, it's sharpened pry bar at that point. I'm excited to get that, get out and try these out. Um, I guess that's about it. There's really, there's not that much to them, you know, fixed blade knives. They're not like folders, you can't go over all the details and all the mechanisms and whatnot. It's just uh, a big piece of steel, sharpened. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, at least give you what it looks like in your hand. Uh, yeah, really good grip. This thing feels great. The, the texturing is very soft. And that's why I like my card better. It has a softer feel to it. It's cheaper. I think it looks damn good. And it has a sort of softer feel, whereas like... The G10s, these lines would probably be sharp, literally. Um, but, you know, whatever. So, this is a cool blade. If you guys uh, can, I would definitely grab one while they're in the store. Alright, take it easy. If you need anything else, let me know.